and Sharon Moon and the girl just talking and they read my book. Wait, hello, get off the stick. Okay, all right. Um, <laughs> oh, we, okay, this is one I haven't done in a while. I hope I remember this. All right. <clears throat> so ironically, I actually saw a man with a grill. Day before yesterday, and it was in Lone Tree. And I just assumed that um, since no one was really doing the grill thing, that he must have got out of jail. And I was very, very, it was cool when he went in because that's you know what happens you know, when that fly guy stuff from you know I don't know if anybody's ever seen. I'm gonna get you something the, the suit the thing wore his name. I don't know. But it was cool when you went in. So anyway. that I'm writing from tonight's content. <clears throat> it's like, boy, how did you get your grill that way? And how much did you pay? Cause every time I see you, first thing I want to say, hey, smile for me, daddy. I think not. <laughs> I'm going to say, what the hell is all that shit? Understand that you were from Chi Town and especially the dirty South, but you, my friend, grew up just a few houses down from me. And I believe that you've seen one too many celebrities with decorated teeth. And now I guess that you feel that you will no longer vicariously live through Paul Wall, Bow Wow, Little Wayne, Nelly Nas, and Khalees. No! Stop me if I'm inaccurately describing what happened. You saw their teeth decked out in diamonds and platinum, and then you. With your Adidas with four stripes, stress weed, and your black <laughs> Beside that, you are ghetto fabulous, and you will be the next Paul Wall, so you run your cheap ass down to the local Mexican. <laughs> Tell them how you want your shit to be proper. Come out with not platinum, not gold, not silver, but copper or tin or some other metal that I've never seen. Afraid to brush your teeth for the risk of contracting game green. <laughs> Got gold fever like June Bugs Fade. Ran out and paid someone to mess up your teeth by etching your name across the top row. And you see the outsides may be diamonds, but you see the insides where the actual letters are is still the, the off white. Uh, eggshell, ecru, vanilla, mother of pearl. Like they've been soaked overnight in the cum of some young girl. <laughs> Plus, you only have enough fun to bling out the top row. So I just do not know what's wrong with our generation. Get grills to hide the fact that our teeth are misshapen or crooked. I'm sick of looking at people that should have just invested in basic braces. You yeah, know, you cannot sport a grill if your real teeth have spaces. Soaked your teeth in coffee and nicotine for three quarters of your life. Now, why does drawing any attention to your teeth even sort of seem right? <laughs> I was happy with them. They were just white, straight, right. and even better yet, all there. And now you stress an extra ten minutes getting dressed trying to figure out which set you should wear. You know, I heard a grown man ask for outfit assistance from his other male friends saying, hey, which of these teeth should I wear tonight? The white and the yellow go. Both these shits is hot to death, but this one's kind of old. And his friend said, yo, man, I really don't know. Wear whichever teeth you believe gonna have the most hoes. Go and smile for me, daddy. What you looking at? Your, your grill, your wasted skrill. I can not be. Right, right. I'm looking at a man that's put more into his teeth than he's put out in taxes. Cause he has a been working a job, per se. He works blocks all day, so his mouth be full of rocks and pretty girls will say, smile for me, daddy. That girl won't be me. I need to see the teeth that you potentially pass on to my seed. See, the last thing I need oh, is not to know the bullshit your grill hides underneath. Your teeth might be a cross between John Elway and Christopher Rock. <laughs> Maybe the shit, your real shit, not hot. So perhaps, instead of robbing the jewelry store to get you a grill, you just might rob the floor right out and make you a film. If you have a grill, just make
make sure it's done right. Make sure it's properly fitted. Please remove them at night. Don't get grills to hide your, blaze, your spaces and spots. Don't bling out the bottom if you need braces up top. If your two front teeth are huge, a grill is not an option. <laughs> and whoever said it wasn't lied to you, and now you need to stop. <laughs> Just be aware of the materials that are used in your grill. Make sure that the platinum or the jewels are real. And really, no one gives a damn about the worth of your teeth, because if everything that comes out is bullshit, you still have no mouthpiece. Just take pride in yourself. Just brush and floss daily, no matter what. There'll be no problem whenever they be like, smile for me, daddy. What you looking at? Yeah, your grill. Yeah, yeah, your grill. Whoa. Whoa.